Ed, you write a piece today in the Post, and folks, you should log online if you're not in Washington to read this, uh, that essentially, I'm going to make, I would say the lead is, the president should stay in Chicago and have dinner with his friends, uh, not come back to Washington mm -hmm. tonight, because he's supposed to come back for this Hispanic gala in town at a time when there's a lot of dissatisfaction. He promised in his first year in office to introduce comprehensive immigration reform. He promised to come back at it again. He promised then to do executive action this year before the election. Now he has punted that until after the election. Uh, a lot of red state Democrats, vulnerable Democrats in Senate races were happy with that decision. But you write that at the House level and elsewhere in the party, there's some dissatisfaction. There is. In fact, uh, there, there are a lot of different groups, especially out west, that are trying to register as many Hispanic voters as possible in places like Nevada, Arizona, California, Texas. The idea being that if more Hispanics start showing up, it'll demonstrate to both parties their you know, sustained political power. Well, you talk to some of those people trying to do that that legwork on the ground and they say we're having a harder time convincing people to sign up to vote. Why? The reason is because the president punted. They say once again over the course of six years he has broken a promise on immigration and people are saying to us why should I bother if he isn't showing up to do this? You look at polling numbers. He has dropped more significantly among Hispanics than mm -hmm. any other subset right. in polling over the past year. Again, because of this issue, because of the economy, because of other things, but most especially because again they see that promise broken. It's a, it's a big problem for him because He'll walk into this room where he's supposed to be, you know, a revered figure, loved by them, and, and there's a lot of, 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 of anger, really, that, that he's once again taken advantage and, of. Them. And his numbers have dropped precipitously, I think about 20 points, according to Gallup, since 2012, since his reelection, and then the sort of immigration reform push in early 2013. But what's the alternative, right? right? Where do Hispanic voters go? They went. Uh, three to one to him in the, last, in the last presidential race, and Republicans are still grappling with the politics of immigration, uh, with their primary vote and the conservative base versus uh, the general electorate and Hispanic voters. So he has options here in, in that where else do Hispanic voters go? Where else do they go? The question is, do they come out at all this year? Right. Uh, midterm drop usually drops anyway, but let's see what the percentage are. You make it, we'll watch some House races could be impacted there. And then we'll go into 2015 and 2016 to see if the Congress wants to touch immigration reform. But the Republican leadership has been, uh, shall we say, overly cautious on that front mm -hmm. as we go forward.